friends and family, this is SP News Nuggets, and today, you guys, we're going to talk about the story that um, uh, of a father that apparently he mistaken his three-year-old as his wife and raped her, and this is what his excuse was in court. You guys, I'm going to read you the details because that's all we have, but it is disturbing, so here we go. A man who raped a three-year-old daughter after mistaking her for his wife, jailed for 50 years. You guys, his name is Henry Vincent Bennett. He's 27 years of age. He was sentenced to 25 to 100 years for two counts of first-degree assault, sexual assault, after he winterly under cross-examination during trial on March the 26th. A West Virginia man who was convicted of incest with his three-year-old daughter after he claimed he only sexually assaulted her because he confused the child for his 26-year-old 185-pound wife will be spending the next half century behind bars. Judge Derek Scoop denied the motion for a new trial and after noting the problems, the child could suffer later in life sentenced 27-year-old Henry Vincent Bennett to 25 to 100 years for each of the two counts of first-degree sexual assault on March the 26th. Swope read a letter from the child's maternal grandparents, who are now her legal guardians, before delivering his verdict. Bennett's wife, April was arrested and charged with being an accessory to the 27-year-old crime and is also scheduled to be sentenced after pleading guilty to a charge of child negligence. Scope also sentenced Bennett to consecutive sentence amounting to 30 to 70 years for the two sexual abuse charges and two incest charges, which the 27-year-old was also convicted of. He ruled that he would only become eligible for parole after serving at least 50 years of his sentence. If Bennett is paroled, however, he will still face a further seven years of probation and lifetime sex offender extended supervision with soup announcing, I'm not locking him up for the rest of his life, but for the rest of his life, effect life. Bennett was first arrested in February 2018 after his daughter told family members and friends. His daughter told family members and child safety workers that she had been sexually abused by her father. When he was brought in for questioning, Benny intentionally denied the charges but later admitted to sexually assaulting his daughter two times, once with a sex toy and once when he made her perform oral sex on him i'm going to share with you guys the picture of the mother her name is april bennett because i know we're going to talk about her in a minute but i want you guys to just take a look at her picture okay he okay we're going to go back and talk about henry he insisted both occasions had been accidents claiming the first incident had taken place when April was away in the bathroom and he placed the sex toy in the child's butt, thinking it was his wife. He said the second incident happened when his wife was performing oral sex on him and went to the bathroom in the middle. He explained that this was when his daughter crawled into the bed and started performing oral sex on him without his knowledge. Oh my, this man is sick. <laughs> However, Bennett recanted those confessions during his trial, claiming it had been coerced from him by the police on a promise of letting him go home. His attorney argued his client had a diminished mental capacity. The 27-year-old stated he had been in special education, dropped out of school in the ninth grade, 
and failed to earn his GED twice and was susceptible to such pressure tactics. However, when he took the stand in his defense, there was a twist which could have been straight out of a legal drama on TV. Whether under cross-examination from prosecutor George Selter, Bennett slipped up and repeated the confession he made to detectives. The juror who were supposedly sent into deliberations returned with a guilty verdict on all counts less than 30 minutes later. Mm. Involving the oral sex in another where he used a sex toy were simply a case of mistaken identity. He tried to claim that he only targeted his victim after she crawled into his bed while his wife was in the bathroom, telling cops that he and his partner had been using the sex aid themselves moments previously. Okay, it says, but the jurors took less than half of an hour to sink Bennett's bizarre excuse and convict him of a total of six charges, including first-degree sexual assault Thursday. He now faces up to 270 years behind bars, you guys. Okay, here are some of the details of that trial, you guys. I'm going to go off into it. If you cannot stand some of the graphic um, details I'm going to say, just cut this video off. So here we go. During his cross-examination, he was asked by Prosecutor George how he had managed to mistaken the 30-pound child for his 185-pound wife, April. Bennett replied, I was laying on my back. I thought it was April, and when I rolled over, the child yelled. The child molester's abuse was uncovered after his young victim told her relatives what had happened and they called police. Bennett's victim, whose relationship to him has not been further specified, told police that the pervert had put his butt on her butt. During an interview, she made a Play-Doh model of a, a butt that was really um, the picture or the image of a penis and she continued to stick the made Play-Doh butt, which was actually a long, elongated uh, um, Play-Doh penis, and kept sticking it in the butt. And this is what she said, the three-year-old, that her daddy, Henry Bennett, had been doing to her, you guys. And there was some uh, activity where the three-year-old showed an expert how sometimes it not only went in the butt, but went in the mouth also. Now, April, the mother April, is coming up on trial real soon. And I think she's trying to take a plea deal. She's trying to act like she didn't know, you guys. She just walked away and let her husband have her child. She knew. I found a little bit about it. But we're going to share that at some other time. This is disgusting. And uh, I know some of you guys are probably sick in your stomach. I'm sick in my stomach, too. So, I don't know why... This nut thought that the excuse that he, I thought it was my wife. A 30-pound 30, 30 old girl and a 185-pound old wife. And, 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 and that's the excuse you came up with? Get out of here. Boy, bye. Do 270 years. Okay. I'm glad they threw the book at you. Good written. Okay, you guys. Be good, be safe, and be nice to each other. Bye.